2015 has been another busy year for Lloydminster RCMP. From dealing with a new hot drug on local streets to finding new ways to work with the community, Inspector Suki Manch has been right in the middle of it. Bart Pediasic sat down with the detachment commander as he explains the year that was. And we're joined by Inspector Suki Manj of the Lloydminster RCMP. Thank you once again for joining us here, Inspector. No problem. Thanks for having me. Uh, so, I Inspector, let's begin with a bit of a disturbing trend. Not only to Lloydminster, just to be clarify, it's a trend that's popping up all over Canada. The use of fentanyl, uh, that's been especially prevalent here. We've had some many issues as well. Yes, um, unfortunately, it's one of those type of drugs that people don't look as so bad like it, it's it's a pill so it it's um, uh, more of a designer type of drug and it has devastating effects so potent that just the smallest amount can can potentially kill you it'll stop your heart and the symptoms are on uh, come on very quickly so most people don't even recognize it's happening and that when you mixed it with the alcohol or any other type of drug, it, it, it's just devastating and it takes very little for, uh, for that to happen. And now it's not only RCMP talking about the dangers to people out on the outside, but we're also doing some things about it. We've had some major busts this year. Yeah, we've, we've uh, concentrated on a few projects uh, to Project Coalition was one that we did just most recently. It was a two month project. Quite frankly, these type of things are just not a police issue. They're a community issue. And, and I think you'll hear that a lot from me, and I think people might um, get tired of that at some, at some point. But I think um, it's important for me to reiterate that and say that, yes, we have an arm in this. We have, we have a job to do getting this type of uh, drug and all, all drugs off the street. Uh, but I guess we wouldn't have to if we worked as a community to make sure that people understood uh, what the effects of all these things do to people and families and and our health system and social system the justice system they're all intertwined mm -hmm. so um, my advice to parents and family members is to keep in touch with the people you love uh, understand what's going on in their lives um, get on top of these things as early as you can and when you need it get some help there's help out there for everybody and I know a lot of this really stems to education and talking to kids early about this kind of stuff. This year, our CMP have joined up with the Lloydminster Bobcats for a special, uh, a special initiative, the Project Keep Straight. What is that all about? So Project Keep Straight is, uh, we, we look at people in the community that have a, a positive impact on, on the youth, especially. And the Bobcats are one of our well-known groups in town, and, and it's comprised of young people, teenagers. Um, and there's a lot of our, our young fellows that, and, and girls that, that uh, look up to these people. And we took them out and had them have an opportunity to go to Vancouver along with yourself, uh, East Hastings, which is world renowned for the wrong reasons. Um, and it's an eye opener. Um, it's uh, another opportunity for them to come back and tell the story of, of the people that live on the east side of, of Vancouver and how quickly their lives deteriorate. What do we have to look forward to in 2016? Well, before we get there, I just want to say thank you to, the, to everybody that we work with in our community, the, the, our partner agencies, uh, unbelievable support in this community. I think uh, people underestimate the power uh, that Lloydminster as a city has to make a difference. Uh, what you'll see uh, starting January 1st is a lot of new um, uh, in, uh, innovative uh, police techniques, including our prolific offender program, our social chronic program, and Comstat. That's all coming Jan uh, January 1st, 2016, and I think you'll see dramatic results from that and more community involvement. I think you look back at the year, we've had um, things that have never happened, like Stuff the Cruiser. That's uh, uh, something I'm very proud of, that, uh, and I see now that other or organizations are taking on that uh, to support our uh, Salvation Army and other food banks. Uh, the, um, the Battle of the Badges, where we had a hockey game against the fire department. Um, all these things that are trying to involve the community and show the community that we are part of the community. So um, I think you're going to see a lot more of that. There's going to be more um, integration in what we do with other partner agencies. Um, a, a lot more communication. Uh, part of Comstat will be uh, where we're we'll be putting out reports to the community through the media on our websites saying, here's where the problem areas are. Here, here's what you can do to support uh, having a safer community. I think that is probably the most uh, 
the thing I'm looking forward to. Well, thanks for sitting down with us, Inspector. I look forward to talking to you in the coming year. That was Inspector Suki Manj of the Lloydminster RCMP. We'll have more for you after this break. Stay tuned.